Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze the piston head for thermal analysis. We will start by double clicking on steady state thermal. First, we will go to engineering data. There are two materials that I am going to use to analyze the piston head. The first one we can get in general materials that is aluminium alloy. I will update project. Next, I'll go to engineering data again, and here I will insert the material. As discussed in the previous class, the material that we are going to use is nickel chrome alloy. So we will insert here. The property that we need to give is isotropic thermal conductivity. So that we will get here, thermal conductivity. The minimum value is 8, maximum value is 17. Unit is watt per meter Kelvin or degree Celsius. So I am taking the higher value out of the two. So that is the only value that is required when you are doing thermal analysis. So I'll just go back to project and update project. Both the material have been added. I will now go to geometry and right click. I already have the geometry with me. So I will directly import the geometry. Next I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll first go to geometry and choose the piston head and I'll allocate the first material as aluminium alloy. Next I'll go to mesh and I'll change the sizing to fine and then I'll update. I'll first insert convection on this face. I'll apply a film coefficient of 500E minus 6 at a temperature of say 250 degrees Celsius. Because it is aluminium alloy, I'm using a temperature of 250 degrees Celsius. Next, I'm going to give convection on this surface. I'll insert convection. Film coefficient is 700 e raised to minus 6. The temperature here is say 150. On this surface, again I am going to insert convection. So the value is 500 e minus 6. And the temperature here is say 90. On this face also there will be convection. Say it is 700 E minus 6. And temperature is say 150. I will insert thermal temperature in solution and the second I want to see the result of total heat flux. I will go to solution and solve. So you can see here this is the temperature variation over the 
entire piston head and this is the total heat flux the value is 0.23755 watt per mm square you can see where the heat flux is more and temperature maximum is 181 and the minimum temperature is 162.69 degrees celsius so this is the result for aluminium alloy next i am going to change the material to nickel chromium alloy now for this you can see here the maximum service temperature is 1070 to 1473 kelvin which means it is approximately 800 to 1200 degrees celsius and the melting point is also very high so i am going to change this temperature of initial convection to 600 this value to 250 or say 300 this convection is say 100 at this end which I have given and the fourth one I can give as 350 be careful that you have changed the material I will go to solution again and solve So you can see here, this is the temperature variation over the piston head. You can see the temperature differences inside and out. Also you can see here, this is the total heat flux. The value is 0 0.3463 watt per mm square. The temperature maximum is 468.33 and the minimum is 285.1. Now you would wonder that when we have given the value as 600, then why is the maximum value over here as 468? That's because along with the temperature, I have also given a convection factor, which means heat is being lost continuously over the piston head. So that's why the temperature is not 600 here, it is 468. So that's how you analyze a piston head for thermal analysis. Using both the materials, you must have realized that nickel chrome alloy is a better material as compared to aluminium alloy when you want to lose more heat into the ambience its thermal conductivity is obviously more as compared to aluminium alloy so if given a choice this would be a better material to use so with this i end the session i hope you have understood how to analyze a piston head for its thermal analysis if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.